Hi friends, I'm down here in the corner, but I wanted to remind you of our spelling pattern this week. We are working on our words that have the two O's next to each other for the spelling pattern. And here we have our beautiful brown Mr. Moose who has a nice smile on his face. Do you know too that we have moose that live in the state of Minnesota? We do. They're beautiful creatures with very long legs. And look at those big antlers that they have on them. They live though in Northern Minnesota and they are indeed brown. Now, he's there to remind you though of the spelling pattern as is the moon, moon, tooth, t ooth, and t ool. So our job today is we're going to be looking at some pictures and deciding if we think they have the double O spelling pattern for the OO sound, or if they have a different spelling pattern, that is going to make a different sound. So let's look at the page. So here we have our two O's, as in moose, but here we have our O-A, as in goat. So what sound is the spelling pattern O-A making? G-O-T. It's going to say, oh, so we'll take these. What do we have here? We have eight pictures and decide if we hear oo or o oh in them. Let's take the first one, goose. And you tell me if it's going to go by moose or goat. G-oose. Goose, moose, goose, goat. Goose, moose, they actually even rhyme. They ended in that oose sound. Here's the next one. It is a toad. T-o-d. Toad, moose, toad, goat. T-o-d. Well, there we hear the O sound in it. Oh, this boy, he is floating. Float. Flo Oat, fla oat, float goat. If I would have said that that was pool, it would have ended up over here, but it's float. Here is a moon. Oh, do you remember that from our poster? Ma moon, moon oat, ma moon, moose, goat. It is double O. Here we have a tooth. T ooth. T ooth. Do you hear oo or o? If you said oo, you got it. Here we have a boat. B oat. B oat. Boat goat goes right here. Here's our next one. Spoon, 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 ooh, and our last one is coat, 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 goat. So we ended up with four and four. Let's say all of these together and listen for that ooh sound. Goose, moon, tooth. Spoon. There you go. When I say all of these, now you listen to me and listen for that O sound. T O D, float, coat, boat. Definitely, I heard all those O sounds. Now, our directions here are use one of the double O words in a sentence. So, friends, just like we've done the last couple of weeks, I will come up with my sentence, but then I would like you to use a piece of notebook paper from your notebooks to write your own sentence and see if you can pick a sentence different than mine or maybe even your very own picture here to use. So I have a choice between goose, moon, tooth, or spoon. I think I am going to use the word goose and 
I have to think up a nice detailed sentence with the word goose. Oh, I have it. The small, I'm going to have that be a small. The small goose swam in the lake. So the, I know that sight word and I need to start with an uppercase. T H E. Look at a head. Tall, tall, small letter. Need to leave my space. And I said this was going to be a small goose. So owl. And guess what? There's two L's in that word. Small. Now the word goose. G -oo. I know that that oo is two O's. I just wrote the small goo. The small goose. And this one has a magic E that the more you read it and write it, you'll remember that that magic E is there. The small goose swam. The small goose swam in, we know that word, I, n. Remember the dot for your eye goes up here. We don't want a lollipop where it's attached. In the, this time I need to use a lowercase t to spell the. Why do I use a lowercase t? Because it's in the middle of my sentence. The small goose swam in the lake. Lake. And this cuss sound is made by a K. Now, right now, this says the small goose swam in the black. Ooh, I, if I want my A to say its name, I need a silent E and a period. The small goose swam in the lake. And then of course I would use lots of different colors to make a beautiful goose swimming in a lake. So friends take a minute to kind of look at those pictures and decide if you're going to write a different sentence about a goose or are you going to write about a moon or what about a tooth? Those of you that have lost teeth, that might be a good one that you could write about your lost tooth. Or did you use a spoon this morning to eat some cereal? Or have did you learn something new about the moon when we were studying? about day and night. So friends, you can get your paper ready while I work on drawing my goose. So have fun and good luck. Bye bye. Oh, you know what I forgot to tell you? The most important thing, take a picture of your writing and your illustration and send it to me and see if you can. Now you can go. Bye-bye.